What's up guys, welcome to this video! I hope you're doing fine, keep that beautiful smile on your face because you are beautiful! Welcome to this video, so I'm gonna start it off on a different note. I wanna motivate you and normally I don't do this and I, who am I to motivate you? I'm just a normal guy and I don't believe that I can be motivating. But I really need to say this because in the last week I've got a lot of questions about benching, about FYM, about cheating, about that stuff. So it's all started on Thursday. So on Thursday I had a birthday on my mom and my sister-in-law and we went out for a dinner. We went to an all-you-can-eat buffet. So we went there or I went there without thinking that I'm gonna cheat or I'm gonna binge or I'm gonna eat a lot. Now I didn't eat anything the whole day because yeah we, we already planned that so I knew I'm gonna go high on my calories. So we went there and yeah it started off with one plate then the second plate then the third plate then the fourth plate fifth sixth seventh and I finished it off with an eighth plate. So guys as you can see on the screen right now I had eight plates of food and those plates weren't small they were pretty big and as you can see they were filled to the top and let's let's estimate right there let's estimate how many calories let's estimate one plate is around like 800 calories probably more but I'm gonna say 800 calories for one plate it was really fatty high in carbs and you saw the picture like it, it, those weren't like healthy plates everything is fried in butter everything is fried in oil and stuff stuff isn't healthy so let's say 800 calories per plate so 8 times 8 64 times 100 is 6400 calories for that dinner alone. So I had 6400 calories that means I'm like 3000 above, 3400 above my maintenance or my bulking calories, the calories that I'm at now. Let's say 3000 calories. So that means I've binged, I've cheated and I went over my calories. <sighs> I need to get this off my chest. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I show you everything I do on a daily basis or most of the time. And I did show you exactly that day what I ate and what I did the whole day long. And the funny thing is, I also posted a lot of things the next day. So here is some footage of the next day, the morning after that crazy dinner. So on the day of the dinner I weighed in like 90 kilograms, 90.5 kilograms and you can see the weight, I gained 3 kilograms in one day. And you know what I did that day? I fasted the whole day long, I fasted until I couldn't fast anymore, that means I didn't eat the whole morning, I didn't eat until later on the night and you know what I did guys, I went to the gym, I didn't train, I did do cardio, so here is what I did, I did like 45 minutes on the Stairmaster and I burned 760 calories and then I went on the treadmill, did an incline treadmill for 50 minutes just to complete the whole hour and I burned around like 1000 calories that morning and I went home it was like 5 o'clock and I decided to have my first meal. I kept my meals really simple that day. I had only two meals. So the first meal was like cauliflower rice with a whole egg on top or with two egg whites and one whole egg. And I had like a chicken breast on a slice of toast. So that was my first meal at 5.45 as you can see. And the second meal, my later on the night at 8 o'clock exactly, I had like low fat quark with like a cow sludge, two slices of gingerbread, one protein bar that I baked, some peanut butter and a whole banana and that was basically it what that was what I had the whole day long and uh, let's estimate those calories that was probably around like 1200 calories in total not even like guys it was all healthy stuff low in fat low in calories and that was only what I ate that day and I basically posted the whole day long to tell people that you don't need to stress about benching don't stress about cheating because yes I cheated but if you work your butt off it will all be good here's a picture that I posted that day after my cardio I said balance is key yesterday I cheated and today I paid the price for it because I did one hour of total cardio and I burned 1000 
1,000 calories, around 1,000 calories. And later on that night, I said this, I posted this on my Instagram story. So only two meals for the whole day, and I'm guessing my weight is gonna be around 92 kilograms tomorrow. 91.8 to be exact. I just wanted to have fun, hopefully. So, I estimated my weight the next morning, what my weight should be the next morning. And guys, let's see the weight of next morning. How much did I drop? Ninety-one point eight kilograms. So in one day, I went from ninety-three point five to ninety-one point eight. And this is what I posted the next day after my weight. I estimated my weigh-in exactly. So I said I was going to weigh in at ninety-one point eight kilograms, and I said it. I know my body so well. Guessed it exactly. I weighed it in at ninety-one point one, and then I posted this. I'm a wizard! <laughs> no, but I know my body so well and I know how much I'm gonna drop if I look at the meals that I had that day and I didn't eat much that day. So I dropped almost two kilograms in one day. So I know my body pretty well. The next day, the day after that, two days after the cheating, after the dinner, I just went to my normal day. I had like four meals a day, did my normal thing. And I'm getting back to 90 kilograms. So this is the weigh-in of the morning like three days ago, of two days after the cheat. So 91. 0.3 kilograms and that is basically it I need to show you this all guys don't stress if you binge if you cheat please don't stress I knew I, I was going I was cheating I knew I had too much calories but the next day I worked my butt off I paid the price like you can't like enjoy your life every single day no the balance is key I see that always balance is key guys one day you can play hard but the next day you, you gotta play harder you gotta pay the price for it and you're just gonna lower your calories do some cardio if you want to you don't need to do cardio but it will take you a longer time to lose that weight but the next day just lower your calories a bit or just go to your normal state and you will lose or you will drop the extra weight that you gain so please don't stress and that is why I'm making this intro because I, I'm not someone that's gonna motivate you but I know what I'm doing I know some people stress about it, and when you stress you're gonna binge harder you're gonna binge the next day if I'm gonna be motivating it's gonna be right now at this point so guys please listen to me Trust me, if you binge, don't stress about it. Stay happy. Past is the past. You can't change that. Just go to your normal life. Just go do your normal things and don't stress about it. I can't say it enough. Don't stress about it. If you have the desire of binging, drink a ton of water. Drink a liter of water at once. It will fill you up and the desire will go away. But for real, don't stress about it. Don't do it. Live your normal life. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Wow.